there it's cat i thought i'd just walk you through tonight's release um our christmas cheer release for 2022 um lots of real cute things um and i think with um christmas collections there's two ways you can go you can either go quite elegant um sort of almost glitzy or cute so i've worked a bit of both into this year's collection but I'll just walk you through um, some of the main uh, pieces that I'm releasing tonight. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, there will be more coming. And you're probably going to get sellouts of quite a few of the, the uh, most popular pieces uh, because I've fairly got fairly low stock at the moment. Um, I just felt pressure to get this um, release out a bit earlier than what I was planning to do because I'm seeing... You guys, some of you are releasing, or wanting to release Christmas earrings and you're contacting me. Um, so I thought, look, I'll just release what I've got ready um, and add to it over the next couple of months. So there will be restocks. So don't panic if you miss out, there will be restocks of um, just about all of these items. Um, so to start with, I have brought back the Christmas tree and star set, star set from last year. Oh, I'm missing my little star that goes with that. But this was really popular and sold out um, fast last year. It's just a nice Nordic shape. Um, you know, you do what you want to do with it, uh, but there's a lot of ways you can play around with it. But I just simply use the little star and a, a nice shepherd hook dangle there. Um, and they were very popular sellers. I think a lot of women do love their traditional, fairly traditional Christmas themed earrings. Um, so I did bring out another new shape in a Christmas tree. This is a softer sort of more scalloped um, tree shape, but still, still a very cute one. So that uh, cutter will be released tonight as well. Um, and both of those will are quite small. I haven't made them very large. Um, and I will release a larger version probably November. So there's a little bit of a wait on that um, to make that happen. Okay, now moving on to more traditional. There's the bauble cutter. And when I was working with the bauble cutter, I had designed it so that it would cut all the way through the clay and you're gonna get these lovely hollow cutouts, you know, which could be filled with um, resin and glitter or just left on their own, or you could back, back it up against a, a different color clay. Um, but I also found that if I used, if I rolled a thicker slab, I could get away with pressing down um, more firmly on the outside and not so much on the inside and I'm left with the impression rather than the cutout. So I just found that was um, kind of cool, a dual usage there. So that's the bauble cutter. We've also got a Christmas bow, and this is gonna come in a set of two. So a nice little stud size and a nice, a perfect dangle size. Um, you know, a few things you can do with this. I've had a play with using uh, bit of resin there just and a tiny bit of glitter in the clay um, resin on just parts of the um, the bow there and using one of the precision tips that worked really really well on this one I've just used a bit of texturing to show the sort of oop, the layers of the bow and of course glitter I don't think you can get too much glitter and glimmer in your Christmas collections <laughs> the girls love them okay so that's sort of the traditional ones. And this year I really, really wanted to do um, something that represented uh, the Christian faith. Um, and so this is the nativity scene cutter, the nativity cutter. And again, same as the bauble, I found that I could either do it as an impression or as a full cutout. Now it does take a little bit of care and a little bit of work to get these cutouts. So, um, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you, tell you this is the easiest one to work with, but um, I think that that uh, effect is, is really kind of cool. Um, that would look beautiful in a pearly white um, or even a gold. Uh, you can certainly infill, um, you know, the star and things like that and take that a lot further. But, you know, for me, it was just really important to have um, that um, piece. And, and I did see other people doing similar things last year and I just fell in love with it. So I've come up with my own take on it um, and that's the nativity one. And going into more of the novelty Christmas earrings, we've got Rudolph, who is super cute. Now, oh, 
Rudolph actually, I haven't got him without all the decorations, but it is two pieces. So you cut the face, cut the nose, and then you layer it. Um, and I'll post a video on how I went all about that, but I'm sure you could probably figure most of that out. So it's actually very easy to do, but it turns out really cute. And I know you've all spotted this little girl or guy already. My koala. I thought, again, it was really important to have something Australian represented because I see so many um, cutter and earring designs coming out of, um, you know, countries up north, um, north of the um, equator. And of course, they're in winter. So their themes are all very um, winter shawls, winter bonnets, hot coffees, um, pumpkin pies and all those sorts of wintry elements and it just doesn't um, it just feels wrong for me to come up with a cutter that's for a Christmas sweater when uh, <laughs> I live in Cairns which is the hottest part one of the hottest parts of the country so my little koala is a bit of a nod to um, the Australian Christmas so again I've, I've used a bit of layering and a bit of extra technique a um, bit of resin infill just to add those extra details but this is what you'll cut your clay the clay and the imprint will look like and it, she's really cute i'm sure that's going to sell out so if it does don't panic i've got more coming um within weeks we've still got a lot of time until christmas so i don't think there's any need to panic i hope you guys won't um now there's also let me just make some room i might just pause that before i forget stud cutters are back again Again, the same as last year, there's two sets, the star set and the holly set that come with three shapes each. Um, so they're really great for your um, preparing your stud packs for Christmas. There'll be one more um, stud set coming out, but that won't be until um, quite a bit later. Um, now these charms, I think, are going to be another hit because look at what I made. Ta-da! Now that's just a very nice, modern, simplistic Christmas tree. And I am going to pair it with probably just simply a star topper. And you've got a really elegant pair of earrings. And I've also done it in resin, coated in the resin with that sort of more marbled effect. So these charms will be part of the release tonight. But guess what? They also look really cool upside down, um, just as a sort of a chevron shaped earring. So um, I'd say they'll be staying on my, my site permanently. I'm in love with them. Um, there are a few other um, pretty charms and things being added. Um, we've got these sorts of medium sized, fairly small um, star shaped connectors you know just easily add to the top of one of your little trees and it's cute and this star connector where are you is um a bit more glamorous with these cubic zirconia pieces in there so if you want to add a little bit of glam something a little bit more refined there are definitely women who like that and don't forget the little bow the little bow earring posts as well look absolutely adorable on top of a bauble or a christmas tree um got a few other ideas coming for those as well also as part of tonight's launch i've got three new silicon molds this first one is a really micro micro mold. Um, some of them are very shallow and they do take a bit of um, bit of work, particularly this little gingerbread man, um, to get the clay to stay in there. So make sure you're not using any corn flour or anything that's gonna stop it from sticking. Okay, so um, you definitely don't wanna use corn flour when you're working with, with these sorts of micro molds. You just don't need to. Um, that looks like a candle. We've got a Rudolph. Um, we've got a gingerbread man, a snowman, a flat gingerbread man. The hat and the mittens are really cute and these uh, and the wreath. And I think they would make really cute, you know, you'd use them on a slab, but also earrings for young kids because they like to, you know, get in on the action too at Christmas. So they, are, you know, little mittens. I know it's not very um, 
Australian hot weather appropriate, but it is what we associate with Christmas, so let's face it. The little bow mold is absolutely adorable. So there's two sizes of bows and um, I think they would make, again, really lovely studs or decorating a wreath or something like that or a bow topper. And the Christmas collection silicon mold, which has these fantastic shapes in it. The only one I really struggled with was the star. It is so beautiful, it's worth it, but you can see I've already lost um, one of the little rays. Um, it really is cute. Oh, that frosty's upside down but really gorgeous shapes there again like the, this Christmas tree in particular you know makes a really nice detailed Christmas tree um, stud earring or the holly or the candy cane and the two little booties so on top of all of that um, there's some other new pieces just things de decorative accents and things like that that I've just added to the website um, They'll probably stay on there permanently. Um, so first is, you would have already seen probably the mica powders. Now these are in really small pots, just small tester pots, so you can try it out. You only need such a tiny amount to, um, to use in the sort of size of work we're doing. So, you know, just I think those pots for a couple of dollars are a great way to just to play with. Um, and I think with Christmas, the gold um, and silver, the metallics works really well and I've also got these glass um, these glass beads that I've added to the website which can be baked into your clay so I've got red uh, gold and sort of a holographic silver um, and you know I wanted to have uh, them so I could add Add them to like a Christmas tree as sort of the baubles and decorations. I haven't gotten around to doing that yet, but I did have a play with um, this sort of design. Um, then I decided that the heart shaped cutter worked really nicely with it. So it looks a bit more Valentine's than Christmas, that particular one. Um, but don't forget those sorts of accents and also things like your foils. The green foils are back in stock and the red foil is a little bit low on stock, but more is coming. Um, you know, I think I've been waiting all year to use this uh, green foil in some cool Christmas earrings. So that's about a wrap up of everything um, that's going to be released tonight. Uh, if you have any questions, don't um, hesitate to reach out. Um, if it's in relation to um, when I'll be getting stock, the best thing to do is to, if you, if you miss out on what you want, do sign up on the product page for uh, website notifications. That is the fastest way to be notified. I just can't go back through and DM everybody that makes an inquiry. Um, I just simply don't have the um, uh, organisational skills to manage that. Um, but yeah, if you do miss out, don't panic. I've got lots more stock coming and I've um, you can sign up for the notifications. You'll get an email that will say, yep, you're, the item that you're interested in is back in stock um, and you can go ahead and purchase it. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed my little Christmas presentation. I hope you have um, lots of fun shopping online tonight and I'll um, look forward to seeing all your creations.